Some of you guys have been suggesting faster ways to do these SAT questions. And let me know if you got one for this quadratic equation. Please, if you do, type it in the chat. Otherwise, let's just get started. In this question, we are trying to find the y-intercept of this line right here. We're given several information, such as the x-intercepts of that parabola, a point on the parabola, and it also states that this line passes through this parabola twice. A lot of information, and the first place that we gotta get started is that we need the equation for this quadratic equation right here. And we can find that by using the intercept form of a quadratic equation. Looks like this. It's gonna be y equals, we don't have an a value, we need that first. And the stuff that goes in the parentheses are just your x-intercepts. And all you gotta do is write the opposite of these numbers. So instead of negative four, you're gonna put x plus four. And instead of two, you're gonna put x minus two. And to get your a value, that is probably why they gave that information right here. Your zero represents your x, and 16 over three represents your y. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. It's gonna be 16 over three equals a. And don't forget that your x value is both zero. So you're gonna plug in zero in there, which makes it easy because zero plus four is just gonna be four, and zero minus two is going to equal negative two. Simplifying that further, we get negative eight a equals 16 over three. And you could just multiply by negative one eighth on both sides. I like doing it that way because it makes this easier to calculate it without a calculator. 16 over negative 8 is negative 2. And then you could just multiply across. That's going to be negative 2 thirds equals A. Now we can write the equation for that parabola. And that's going to be Y equals negative 2 thirds X plus 4 times X minus 2. The next thing we need are the coordinates for the vertex. The vertex is always going to be in the middle of these two points. So the x coordinate of that vertex is going to be the midpoint of negative 4 and 2, which is negative 1. But we don't have that y coordinate. So that was the whole point of getting this equation. We can easily get that by substituting negative 1 for x. So you're going to get y equals negative 2 thirds times 3 times negative 3. One of these end up canceling out and negative two times negative three equals a positive six. So now we got the vertex point. Now we can move on to finding the y-intercept step three. First, we're gonna have to find the slope of that line. So just use the slope formula and that's gonna simplify to six over negative three, which equals negative two. And we could just use y equals mx plus b, the slope intercept form to find the y-intercept. Let's just substitute some points we're gonna use negative two for my slope, my x coordinate, I'm just gonna choose this point right here because it's easy. B is going to equal four, that one was rough. And again, if you got a shorter way to find that, please let me know in the chat. Regardless, it was a good review. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode, peace.